Hi everyone. One of the most common tools you'll use as a project manager is Microsoft Excel. And if you've ever been curious about using macros or Visual Basic in your Excel spreadsheets, then this is a great little introduction. And it's such a cool little project that we're going to go through. We're going to create a few buttons and assign some code to them so that they actually do something for us. What we've got here is our work breakdown structure dictionary, which is all of our features and the user stories or the, or the work packages, depending on what you want to call them, who they're assigned to and their cost estimates and resources required. Now we've also got some buttons here and if this is the only sheet that we can currently see but we want to click this button and we want to say view stakeholders, it opens up a new sheet for us for our stakeholders and this is the engagement assessment. Now you'll notice we've got another button over here and it says open our budget and schedule. So if we click on that, now we've got more sheets, we've got our budget and we've got our schedule over here. Now finally we've got the home button and we can click on that. That takes us all the way back to our work breakdown structure dictionary and we can close off those sheets just in case someone else is going to be looking at it and we only want them to look at the work breakdown structure dictionary. So this is a really cool way to get into VBA. Let's get into it. It's going to be a whole bunch of fun. Now if we're starting from scratch, we've got these tabs down the bottom. We just need to remember these for the future. We've got stakeholders, racy, budget versus actual and Gantt chart as well as our work breakdown structure dictionary. And we just want to make sure we've got the developer tab up here in the top. If we do not have that, we need to go to file options and we want to go to customize our ribbon and over here on the developer side, we just want to make sure that that is ticked. So our developer part is ticked and then click OK. Now in the developer tab, we're going to go to visual basic and that opens up our visual basic window. We've got the, the sheet that we're working on, which is the sample project macro buttons. And we're just going to go within this sheet, we're going to go insert a new module. And that gives us a blank canvas for us to work with. Now here is the code that we're going to be using and it's separated into four different parts. First of all, this sub is opening up a sub procedure for us and we're opening it up and then we're closing it up. And what we're doing is we're going to give these sub procedures a name. Our first one is viewing the sheet stakeholders. The next one is viewing the f all of the sheets or full sheets. Our, our second to last one is hiding the sheets. And our last one is home. So that's the one that can take us back home from anywhere. And here is how they work. For our first one, viewing sheet stakeholders, we're looking at the object of sheets and the sheet that we're looking at is the stakeholder tab. Remember I told you to look at those tabs down the bottom before. So this is our first one, the stakeholders tab. Now we're delving into the information within that tab and we're wanting to make it visible. So we're saying dot, we're delving into it and making it visible. And then we're switching it on or turning it visible by saying it equals Excel sheet visible. Now we're also wanting to select that sheet. So we're saying we're going to sheets stakeholders and delving into it with a dot, delving a little bit further into it and saying select. And then we end that sub procedure. Now we do the same thing for the next one, which is viewing our full sheets. So we're opening up uh, racy budget versus actual that tab, the Gantt chart tab, and we want to select the racy tab, but we could actually select any of these. So we could select the Gantt chart, whichever one we choose, then we just say dot select and then we end that sub procedure. Now it's the same for hiding our spreadsheets. We want to go into the sheets. So sheet stakeholder, that's the one that we're naming and the other ones as well. We're wanting to look at the trigger for visibility. So we're going a little bit deeper again, going into the visibility trigger and then we're saying Excel sheet hidden. So we're turning it off. And our last one where we're wanting to go home from any of the sheets, all we're doing is saying for our sheets, the WBS dictionary, we want to delve into that and select that particular sheet and then end that sub procedure. Now we can just close this down because it's going to give us these names as they come up. We can close this all down. And what we're going to do now is add the buttons. This is still in the developer tab. So we go to developer insert and our button is right here. If you want a shortcut for that, we can say alt L I and B and that gives us the, the button uh, item as well. Now, if we open this up, 
that's going to give us the button that we want to work with. Now this is going to give us those names that we've just created in VBA. And so the first one we wanted to do was to view the stakeholder sheet. That's the one that we want to select when we press this button. And we're just going to say view stakeholders. If we click away from this now, then we s click on the button that will take us to the stakeholder engagement assessment. Let's go to our developer tab, insert and add another button over here. This time we're going to add the f all of the rest of the sheets. So view full sheets, we'll add that macro to our button and we can say we want to open the budget and the schedule. Once we click away from that, or if we want to right click on this, we can then move it around, make sure it's in the right place, click away and then we click on that button again takes us to our RACI and our budget and our Gantt chart. Now we just want to open our developer item, add another button because we're going to go home. We're going to add the macro of home and just change the wording of this. Now if we click away and then click on that button, it's going to take us all the way home back to our WBS dictionary. But we still want to close up these tabs just in case someone else is going to be looking at our spreadsheet. So we're going to add our last button and we're going to assign hide sheets, the VBA, the, the little sub program that we did here for hiding our sheets. And we can say close all sheets or whatever you want to call this one. Once we click away, then if we click on that button, it's going to hide all of those sheets at the bottom and we've got a fresh start for someone else if we want to send this out. And that's a little project for us, absolutely fantastic and a wonderful way to get into VBA in Excel. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next video and bye for now.